Why snow shunt? We are back again, learning the Coptic language with the wonderful book One Two Three in Coptic. Why snow shunt? And if you haven't seen the previous episodes in this, go watch them so that you can learn Coptic with all of us. So we're going to see this page here. You see, of course, the numerals are much like they are in ancient Greek. It's, of course, from the ancient Greek alphabet, the same Coptic alphabet. So we're going to learn this, how to do things quickly and slowly. So a snail. What's a snail? A snail here, of course, represents, there I am, represents the speed and hosh, and hosh, and hosh, and hosh. While we have in kolim, in kolim, for cheetah speed, for doing things quickly. So let's uh, just think about that. Meander around. Enosh. 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 Slow as molasses. And cool him. And cool him. And cool him. Quickly. Fast. Now the snail instructs the, uh, the young man here. Moshi and horsh. Moshi and horsh. Walk. Slowly. Moshi. Moshi and Hosh. And you do that too, I'm ordering you. Moshi and Hosh. Moshi and Hosh. Moshi and Kolim. Walk quickly. Moshi and Kolim. Moshi and Kolim. Moshi and Kolim. Okay. And then we have Hemsi and Hosh. Hemsi and Hosh. You as well now. Hemsi and Hosh. I'm wording myself, of course. Hemsi and Hosh. And now, Hemsi and Kolim. Hemsi and call him. Hemsi and call him. And now we have Chachi and Hosh. Chachi. And Hosh. Chachi and Hosh. Chachi and call him. Now you try. I'm gonna give you all the orders. See if you remember them. And they won't be in order. Hemsi and call him. Moshi and Hosh. Moshi and call him. Hemsi and Hosh. Chochi and call him. Chochi and Hosh. Thank you so much for watching another episode. We'll see you next time. Uchai.